Lola has been told to go on a diet. You see, Lola has very unhealthy feeling habits. She consistently eats meals that are not good for her health. Not only does she eat these meals in abnormally large quantities, but she also eats the wrong things. Her daily meals are made up of mostly carbohydrates and fats like bread, rice, pastries, sweets, fries, hamburgers, and even pizza. She barely eats any vegetables or fruits. When she eats proteins like chicken and beef, they are mostly processed and soaked in fats. In our previous lesson, we established that a person's daily meals can be said to be their ration because the meals are eaten consistently every day. So, we define a ration as the feed that is regularly offered to be consumed by an animal. Today, we want to explore the types of ration that we have. There are two types of rations, a balanced ration and an imbalanced ration. A balanced ration is one that contains all the essential nutrients an animal needs in the right or adequate proportion. It usually includes all the classes of food, you know, like carbohydrates, proteins, fats and oil, minerals, vitamins, and water. A balanced ration is one that is healthy and contains all the classes of food in the right proportion. Lola doesn't eat a balanced diet because her meals are mostly made up of carbohydrates and fats. Her meals simply aren't balanced. An imbalanced ration can cause an animal to be malnourished because it does not contain all the essential nutrients in the right quantity. Remember we spoke about the most important points in any diet. It must be the essential nutrients and the right quantity or proportion. Lola's ration is a perfect example of an imbalanced one. She doesn't include essential nutrients like vegetables or minerals in her diet. She also eats very large amounts. In our next lesson, we'll be discussing more on rations. So stay tuned. See you in the next class. Bye.